Mr. President, members of Congress, you've been making a lot of noise about taking our guns away. But you might want to review history. 1835, Gonzales, Texas Territory. The authorities wanted to confiscate the big gun that protected that colony. You know what the people said? Come and take it. Because they were willing to fight for their freedom and their guns. So are we. Come and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but I warn you. You'll have to pry it from my cold dead hands. We want the freedom that God gave us. So you best not cross that line. If you want this gun, you gotta come through us and take it. One shot at a time. Just like Gonzalez. We're keeping our guns. Hello, all you YouTube fans out there. Listen up. We got some problems. This government decided, I guess, to go take guns wherever it feels like it. We've had all types of all up from all over the states. I've heard people taking from any vet. They've been taking from vets. They've been taking from other people. And it's getting out of hand. We need to get this stopped. This is still the United States are stepping on our rights and they're stepping on the number two. Constitutional right. The Second Amendment. It says do not infringe. In other words, it's all right to have the goddamn gun. But you guys don't understand that, obviously. <sighs> I'm just telling everybody that's my friends out there, be loud, be proud that you're a gun owner. Be loud and be proud you're a knife owner. But by God, do not let them step on our rights. Stick together whether you're a gun or a knife. Or, or, or just out to have a little fun on YouTube, stand up for the people's rights. Things are getting ridiculous. This whole gun thing. Oh, the poor kids. Well, they haven't proven shit. And they're still saying, oh, it happened. Well, they haven't proved nothing to anybody. And when they finally stand up and do so, I might take a notice to it. Number two. If it, even if it did happen, it was a relatively bad accident, yes. But the fact of the matter is, you get drugs and that's what happens. I was a security officer for a few years and let me tell you, it was not fun. A lot of my friends got beat up just because of drugs. You can't stop them. You can beat them down, you can beat them with a fucking stick, they'll keep coming. So if that's the problem, well, then we need to get rid of drugs like what you're supposed to be doing in the first place. But, if they're going to continue to go down this line, they're pushing a lot of buttons on a lot of people. Things are bound to break. So I'm telling you now, back up. And as far as that goes, it's a bunch of crap. So I'm telling you all, be loud, be proud, do not go into this great night without yelling. Say you're mad, say you're upset, say you're tired of the shit. Don't sit down, do not let them in your house if they don't have a warrant. Do not. Because they take advantage of it and they'll take your goods, they'll take we got to stop them somewhere, boys and girls. Get out there. Start yelling it. Say, I'm pissed and I'm mad and I ain't going home till I get to some guy. A bunch of crap. Well, enough of what I had to say. It's getting close to five minutes. That's too many, things, too many minutes of me yelling. Talk to you later. Keep your loved ones close and watch out for this goddamn government.